a good and godly day to everyone. We are going to continue with our presentation of the computational part of non-parametric statistics using an Excel template. The video that we'll be having today is the computation of the single sample sign test for the second case, the case when the sample size is greater than 25. We are also going to use the book written by Alan Blumann entitled Elementary Statistics, a Step-by-Step -Step Approach, copyrighted 2018. The example that we will be using is number 11 entitled Number of Faculty for Proprietary Schools. An educational researcher believes that the median number of faculty for proprietary, meaning for profit colleges and universities, is 150. The data provided list of number of faculty at randomly selected number of proprietary colleges and universities. At the alpha or level of significance of 0 0.05, is there sufficient evidence to reject his claim? We are given here a set of values, 35 values, to compare with a median of 150. This is the business of sign test. The comparison of each of the values of the sample to a hypothesized median of 150. Let us now proceed to our Excel template. If you take a look at this Excel template, there are cells that are colored blue and colored yellow. The cells that are colored blue are the cells where we are going to encode our data and other given values of the problem, while the cells that are colored yellow contain default values. Be very careful with column D because not all of the default values in column D can be counted. It depends on the number of data in column B. Now we'll be encoding the given of the problem. In number 11, we have the median of 150. So we'll be encoding 150. The next item given in number 11 is the level of significance of 0 0.05. Hence, we'll be encoding significance level of 0 0.05. Another value that can be inferred from number 11 is its tail, which is 2. So we'll be encoding 2. Now, this is the time that we are going to encode the data in number 11. I have my data here encoded previously. What I'm going to do is just to copy and paste these values in Excel template. After encoding the data and other given numbers in the problem, just take a look at column D. Column D has entries from number row 10 until row 59. However, you will be counting only the entries from row 10 until row 44 because row 44 is where the last value of the data is located. So we will be counting the number of values less than the median, which is marked by negative 1. After counting, you will be able to see that the negative 1 corresponding to 96 in column B is the 26th value. So the 26th value that is less than the median. In this case, 
we are now ready to use the values of the Excel template. And the decision on the null hypothesis is reject. This means that we are going to reject the hypothesis, the null hypothesis, that there are 150 number of faculty for proprietary schools. The rest is for you to write and to compose for the next steps. This is the computation of Excel template for sign tests for more than 25 samples. The second case for computation of sign tests for more than 25 samples is when the given is not the raw data. When the given is the summary of data. The problem that we are going to use here is from Blumann's example 13-2, which is found in page 691 of the text. The title of the sample problem is Wave Heights. An oceanographer wishes to test the claim that the median height of waves in a resort town on the Atlantic Ocean is 2.4 feet. A random sample of 50 days shows the heights of the waves on 20 days were at least 2.4 feet. At alpha equals 0.05, test the claim that the median height of the waves is at least 2.4 feet. Looking at the problem, we are given the median of 2.4 feet. And we are also given the number of days, which is 50 days sample. Another, we are given another value of 20 days that were at least 2.4 feet. These are the number of days that are greater than or equal to the median, 20 days. We are also given the alpha of 0 0.05. And since we have the problem to test the claim that the median height of the waves is at least 2.4 feet, then our tail here is 1. We are now going to the Excel template to solve this problem. First is the number of values greater than a median. And we are given that it is 20. So, if there are 50 days and 20 are the number of days greater than or equal to the median, this means that there are 30 days that are less than the median. To produce the number of cases of 50 days. The next thing given in the problem is the level of significance of 0 0.05 which we are going to encode 0 0.05 and the tail of the problem which is asking us to test the claim that the median height of the waves is at least 2.4 gives us 1 after encoding 1 we have encoded all entries in the blue cells of the Excel template. And we can now use the entries of the Excel template, particularly on the decision on the null hypothesis, which is not to reject the null hypothesis. This means that we are not going to reject the claim that the height of the waves is at least 2.4. This is how the Excel template of the sign test for more than 25 samples is computed. A good and godly day to everyone. God bless you all and all your families. To God be the highest glory.